A view in Laravel is what you simply see on the screen. So for example, right now, this is the view. Uh, when we created the Laravel project at the start, you saw a Laravel welcome screen. That was a view. So a web application on Laravel consists of a lot of different views. Let's go back to our routes file and what we previously created were three different routes. Let's just get rid of some of these routes and just start off with the main route, which is the base URL. Right now, if we go to the base URL, it is just showing welcome. Okay, that's great. But what if we wanna actually show something more? What if we wanna show, like make an HTML website? Well, we just need to point it to a view. So let's go and create a view. If you go into your resources folder and then go to views, you will see that there is already a view there called welcome.blade.php. Let's just delete that. Let's start from scratch. Now in our views folder, let's create a new view and we'll call it home.blade.php. You must make sure that you do .blade.php and I'll tell you why shortly. So now that we've created home.blade.php, what we can do is we can do return view home. Now you don't need to put home.blade or home.blade.php. Laravel is smart enough to know that home means home.blade.php. It also refers to the views folder. So for example, if you create a folder called a homepage, um, then you put a file inside there called home.blade.php. Then you need to do homepage.home. So to separate within folders, you need to put the folder name and then a dot and then the name of the blade file. You can also do a folder within a folder and that would just be something like that. So it can go, it can keep going. Okay, we're gonna delete that homepage folder and we're just gonna rely with the, on the home that we created at the start. So if we go to the main page now and hit refresh, nothing shows. That's because we don't have anything in our view. But if we go into our home.blade.php file and we type something, if we refresh it, you should see test come up. So what we've done is we have successfully linked a, a get request to the main base URL to show a view. Now we can actually pass data into this view. Just to show you how simple it is, let's create a variable. We'll just do, uh, actually we'll do name equals Mr. Digital. And then we will pass the data into the view so we can then use it within the view. And we do that in Laravel by doing compact, uh, compact and then name. So you don't put the dollar sign name, you just put name. So that refers to that and hit save. We can then go and use blade syntax to echo the variable. So just do two curly brackets and then name like that. And then if we go into our uh, project front page view, refresh it, you'll see Mr. Digital comes up there. You can also do it a slightly different way you could do it something like this, create one variable and create an array with data. So data, uh, okay, and maybe do something else like this. And then if you go into here, you can do data name and data channel, hit refresh and you'll see that it's not working and we'll just see why and I've done something wrong I know. Uh, we just need to change this to data obviously. Refresh it, there we go. So you can pass through variables and you can pass through arrays of data and um, sometimes it's easier to uh, pass an array of data as opposed to doing separate variables because if you do it this way and you've got a lot of variables that you need to pass into the view it can actually take up a lot of space and make it a bit untidy. If you've only got two or three, it's fine, but you know, I, I guess it depends on how you want it to work. So then you have to go obviously into your view and just change this to name and channel. Hit refresh and you see it's exactly the same. 
But we don't want to just show, uh, you know, plain HTML. We want to create a full-blown website. And that's no problem at all with Laravel and Blade. Blade actually makes it really, really easy to do so. So firstly, what we want to do in our home.blade.php, we want to extend a master template. So we're going to create a master template, which will show, which will have all the HTML scaffolding on it. And then we are going to extend it. So to do that, let's create a new folder called includes. And inside the includes folder, we'll create a new file and we'll call it master.blade.php. Inside there, just create a standard HTML5 document and we'll just call it my application. Then what we want to do is we want to go into our home.blade.php file and we want to do at extends and then we want to refer to the master.blade.php which you'll do by doing includes dot master as you can see it's referring to the includes folder which is in the view folder and then the master.blade.php so if we go back to our application and refresh it it's a blank screen but if we look at the source you'll notice that it's using the html data okay so now that we've set up the uh, extending of the master template, we can then do something called yield. Okay, and what yield does is allow us, it, they're bas it's basically a placeholder within your master template. So I'm gonna call it content, and then I'm gonna go into my home.blade.php and create a section called content. So section, content, and end section. I'm then just going to write test in there and I'm going to hit save, and then we're gonna refresh the page. And as you can see, test comes up. If you go into view page source, you'll notice that test comes up within the header and the footer. But we're not using headers and footers here, like say WordPress, you would do that. Here, it's all one file and we create yields. So let's just say you wanted to have scripts on your website, JavaScript. Let's yield scripts here go into home and then create another section called scripts. Make sure that you end the section as well. And then you can put your JavaScript in there. Um, and if we go back to our project, sorry, go back to our project and refresh, look at the code, you'll see our script is there. We could easily go back and move our yield above content and refresh it and you'll see that our script will go above the content section even though the content section is above the scripts in our home.blade.php within our master our yield is above the content so that is how it is displayed so that is a brief rundown of how Blade works and how views work. In the next video, what we're going to do is we're going to create a controller, which will then grab data from our database and put it within our view. Also, later on, we will revisit Blade and see how we can do other things like for each loops.